If I may have your attention, we'll go ahead and begin. I'm Bob Thomas, Superintendent of Knox County Schools, and I want to thank you for being here. Is this not just a glorious, beautiful East Tennessee afternoon and not a cloud in the sky, you know, so it's unlike the weekend. Uh, sometimes, you know, you're just late for your own party. So if you look behind us, uh, you know, the groundbreaking obviously is already ground being broken, but we're going to try to do our part and probably can't compete with the heavy machinery back there. But uh, uh, mayor's pretty good with a shovel, so uh, <laughs> so we'll we'll do what we can. So uh, again, I'd like to take just a few minutes and recognize our board members that are here. Uh, Susan Horn, our board chair. If we could round of applause for Susan, our uh, fifth district. Virginia Babb, uh, vice chair, fourth district. So a round of applause for Virginia. Thank you for being here. Um, also, we've got. Christy Christie, where's Christy? Ninth uh, District, a round of applause for Christy. Thank you for being here. Patty Bounds, uh, District 7 and a former board chair. Thank you, Patty, for being here. And of course, uh, Evity Satterfield, Evity representing District 1 and has a few words that she'll say, say uh, to you here in just a minute. So uh, thank you, Evity, for being here. And thank you guests, all of our guests for being here. Um, you know, this, uh, uh, let me just say too, wanted to take a minute and, and thank uh, uh, Mayor Jacobs for all his support for Knox County Schools. He's just been uh, a tremendous partner uh, for us and of course great leader for our county. Um, and without his approval, uh, this project wouldn't have happened. I know Mayor's even kicking in some, some of his money, I believe, in, on this project. So uh, I want to thank the mayor for his support and, and for his uh, partnership with Knox County Schools. Also, this, has been, this project has been just a little bit of a challenge, a little bit different, because it has also involved uh, working with one of our other partners, uh, Mayor Kim Cannon in the city. So uh, thank you, Mayor, for your support. Uh, mayor Kim Cannon was a longtime school board member and also former chair of the Board of Education and, and doing a great job uh, in terms of leading our city. So we appreciate uh, Mayor Kim Cannon uh, for being here. I know she has a few words to say to you as well. Uh, also, um, want to acknowledge uh, April, April Parton, and thank you, April, for being here. And Wendy Lehman, where's Wendy? Uh, okay, Wendy, Principal Sammy Hill, and, and without our principals uh, leading our schools and without their teachers and staffs uh, doing what they do, of course, none of this would be possible. And uh, uh, we're just so, uh, it's been a hard year uh, for Knox County Schools, but uh, I think we've done, our folks have done a great job offering in-person learning uh, the whole year, basically, and also our virtual learning platform. And uh, so I think our community, our students, our parents, families, teachers, everyone has just done a tremendous job this year uh, with, with allowing us to have school and, and uh, some, some sense of normalcy, I guess uh, you would say, uh, in, in providing for our kids. And obviously our students, the most important people here, our students, so thank you. Let me ask y'all a question, the students. Are y'all are you excited about a new school? Can you show me? Show me how excited you are. Yay! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's what it's all about. That's what we what we do every day is for uh, our students, and uh, we we all uh, enjoy serving our our students and want to provide them with the very best educational opportunities that we can provide them and. They're, they're our future leaders, so, uh, and well deserved of a new, new school. If you, if you haven't been through Lonsdale, it's served its purpose well, but you know what? It's, it's been outgrown by the community, and uh, uh, we've had to uh, prop it up in a few places just to keep going, so really looking forward to this new facility. It's going to be such, such a, uh, a great addition to the community. Uh, the folks deserve uh, a new school, and we're just so proud that uh, uh, that the ground has been broken and that we're going to have that new school. And uh, it seemed like a couple of years ago, one of the community members said, hey, if we just had a new school, all of our kids would be proficient, uh, reading proficiently in the third grade. They would all be coming to school every day, all be graduating and all making uh, high scores on the ACT. So I'm looking forward to uh, once this new building uh, is up that all of our kids are going to going to raise their level of their expectations and all too and their performance so it's going to be uh, just going to be great for the whole community and for Knox County Schools so again thank you for being here uh, at this point in time uh, let me just say that Miss Satterfield has been such a, an adamant supporter 
uh, for a new school for Lonsdale ever since she's been on the board. Uh, she has really supported this project and pushed this project and pushed us to make this project happen. So just appreciate uh, Ms. Satterfield and, and everything that she's done in terms of representing uh, the District 1 and her constituents. So at this time, Evity, I will turn it over to you and let you make some remarks. So thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Superintendent Thomas. Yes, what a marvelous day we have today. I'm super excited, glad the weather has held up and it's a beautiful day. I'm beyond excited for today's groundbreaking of a new Lonsdale Elementary School. Many meetings, discussions, and decisions have been held to get us to this point. I want to acknowledge my colleagues of the Board of Education for making sure that Lonsdale was a priority and pushing it to the front. So thank you for that. Um, thank you, Mayor Jacobs and Mayor Cannon for stepping in and supporting our efforts as well. But it's about the people of Lonsdale. You all made this happen. You did. Your unwavering advocacy, understanding of how to move systems, and your love for your community is the real reason why we're here. Thank you for allowing me to serve you all. I'm excited for what's to come because this is just the beginning. So congratulations, you all did it. That's all I have. Um, next we'll have Mayor Jacobs. <laughs> thank you, Evity, and thank you, Superintendent Thomas. Uh, first, I'd like to recognize uh, the elected officials from Knox County who are here. We have Commission Chair Larson Jay, Commissioner Justin Biggs, Commissioner Courtney Durrett, and Commissioner Deshawande, where there she is. Also, um, we have Clerk Sherry Witt and the Register of Deeds, Nick McBride. Did I miss anybody? Okay, thank you all for being here. Thanks to everybody for being here. As the superintendent said, this building has really outlived its usefulness. So uh, it brings me a great deal of pleasure to be involved with this project. I'd like to thank everybody who helped along the way. There are a lot of people. One group that we shouldn't forget is the taxpayers of Knox County. I am continually humbled and honored uh, to know that along with commission, they entrust the decisions about how their money is used to me. And uh, that's, uh, I just can't say enough uh, about how appreciative and how honored I am for that. This project would not have happened if it hadn't been for the collaboration and cooperation of the city of Knoxville. We had to do a land swap uh, with this uh, as well as um, just everything that went along with a project of this size. So I would like to thank the city. I would like to thank Mayor Cannon for her role in that as well as her role when she was uh, chairperson of the Board of Education and her advocacy of Knox County Schools. And at this point, I will turn it over to the Honorable Mayor India Cannon. What a beautiful day. I'm so pleased to be here. We've all experienced uh, some cloudy days, uh, metaphorically, and uh, just this past weekend. But today the sun is shining, and I couldn't be happier here to celebrate uh, the groundbreaking of a new school for the Lonsdale community. So just feeling really good about that. Um, so, so I'm always glad to see kids and spend time with you all. You all are the reason that all of us are doing our jobs every day, because you're our future. I, spent, I remember coming to Lonsdale, uh, reading with kids and, and working with the teachers years ago when it was just maybe 250 kids. Um, and the teachers worked so hard and the students worked so hard. Now, th now those kids are all grown up and you guys are here. And now instead of 250 kids, you got 500, 600 and growing. And that's a credit to the teachers and family members because no matter how crowded this school has gotten and no matter how times that, you know, you got to deal with, uh, issues with a, an older building, the quality of the education and the dedication of the families and staff at this school has never wavered. So really proud to be here for you guys and see your, your smiling face. I can see you smiling behind your masks. I can see it. Um, so I, I just want to say that it's a win-win a for the schools, for the kids, for the families, um, and for the people of Lonsdale. Uh, I share my enthusiasm with Mayor Jacobs, with uh, board member Evity Satterfield, with Superintendent Thomas, um, with the principals who, who are gonna speak in a few minutes. Um, I just wanna also say uh, that this, was, this project uh, complements and was coordinated with community investments by the city, 
uh, Emerald Youth Foundation, the Haslam and Sansom families, Cherokee Health, and many others, and it's going to make a lasting change here in Lonsdale. And I want to mention that all of these public investments and private investments uh, here in Lonsdale to create new youth and family serving amenities. Can you guess how much money is being invested in this community? $30 million right here in Lonsdale. $30 million. And this commitment, these investments are going to transform lives. It's going to be a place here for state of the art learning and it's going to be a bigger, better equipped community gathering space. And the city of Knoxville, we are happy to provide a supporting role in helping make this new school possible. So I just want to share, I've, uh, this, this process started under Mayor Rojero, and I want to share a little bit about some of the things that have been happening. Um, it's an example of partnership, and everyone, whatever form of government, public and private, and nonprofit communities working together. So the county assumed ownership of the city's Lonsdale Parks and Rec Center on Stonewall Street, which is the site where Knox County is going to build the new $20 million school for 800 students. And this new school is not just going to be a school, it's going to have a 7,100 square foot gym and a new and improved 2,000 square foot city rec center. So really happy about that. And in return, the county is transferring the Sammy Hill property on Delaware Street to the city. And once the new school is built and the Sammy Hill students are attending there, the city will create a new park and preserve a portion of the historic Sammy Hill for use as a community meeting space on that site. Because the more we meet, the more we work together, the more we all thrive right here in, Knox in Knoxville and Lonsdale. Um, and an another big part of the Lonsdale community, uh, a few years ago, Emerald Youth opened the $8 million Haslam Sansom Ministry Complex just a few di a short distance away and it involved their team purchasing property from the city that we had previously acquired what was in a large blighted block off of Texas Avenue. And so to make this area walkable and connected, the city of Knoxville has committed nearly a million dollars to build new sidewalks, install new street lighting, and plant street trees. Yay. So my point in just sharing these details with you uh, is, is a reminder of one of my um, heroes one said, it's amazing what you can accomplish if you do not care who gets the credit. So Harry Truman said that, and I totally believe it. So uh, I want to thank a, a lot of the community members who are here, Pastor Joe Smith, uh, Joey Kyle, Angel Romero, and many, many others. Thank you for being here. I also want to give a shout out to my chief operating officer, my deputy, and my friend David Brace. David, where are you? David, uh, despite his youthful appearance, he's been with the city almost 20 years. And he has deep roots with community members here in Lonsdale and all across the city. And when he gets involved, uh, good things happen. So thank you to David Brace for, for being part of this project. So congratulations to Knox County, to Knox County Schools on improving the quality of life and educational opportunities for these children and many generations to come. And now I'm going to turn it over to Principal Wendy Lehman. Um, let me... Channel 8, I messed your, your microphone up, sorry. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mayor Kim Cannon. So what a, what a tremendous day for the community of Lonsdale. This is what it looks like when people come together from public and private and faith-based entities, from city and county government, from the school system, and they partner with community leaders. And this is all on the behalf of our children. I can't imagine, oh my gosh, look to your right, to my right, your left, at all these sweet children. <laughs> One of our fifth graders told me this is more nervousing than going to sixth grade. <laughs> One of the mothers shared with me that her son's thinking of repeating fifth grade so he can stay for the new school. The children are excited, the staff are excited. The community is elated. It's a long time in coming. Sammy Hill has been in the community for 102 years. Yeah, pretty awesome. I think Lonsdale's original building was built in 1927 with the addition probably mid 50s, I'm guessing. But it is an honor and it is a privilege and it is exciting to see what the future is going to hold for our little people. Because when they're in an environment that is safe, secure, supportive, stimulating, there are no possibilities, right? It's unlimited what they're going to do and accomplish 
and they'll look back and say, I went to Lonsdale Elementary. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Way to go. Hi, everyone. I'm April Parton. I'm principal of Lonsdale Elementary. Um, I serve the grades two through five in the current building. Um, Ms. Uh, Lehman has been so wonderful. She's just down the street with the pre-K, K and one. And I, Ms. Lehman, I cannot wait till our two schools come back together. And we, when I first got here two years ago, we had a phrase, you know, two schools, but really one community. And I have felt that every single day here, that we are working hard to recognize we are one community. So I'm so excited for the day that this building gets to be that physical representation of all that hard work that you guys have put together. <clears throat> so while I've been here for second years, I've noticed nothing but love for this community and excitement, making sure that our kids have everything that they need for school to be as successful as they can. And every kid at Lonsdale can and will succeed, and we believe that strongly. And this building is just a great testament to the faith that everybody has in this community from, from our custodians, teachers, our front office, our students, our parents, our community holders, our daycare providers, our city and public officials. It's just, it's overwhelming and, and I'm awestruck to be here in my second year and to see all of this. And I feel blessed to be here. And, I, and I'm so excited. Um, I was telling people I couldn't believe that we, when the portables came down, they're like, this is real. This is real. Can't wait for us to move some dirt today. Y'all gonna move some dirt today? Yes. So I, I do wanna say that w when, when Ms. Lehman pointed out all the beautiful faces in our building, we have right now, all of our students are watching this live. That, and so I, I actually wanna <laughs> say hello to you all and make sure that you guys know that you are loved and appreciated and right here with us as we do this groundbreaking. And all of the teachers and students over at Sammy Hill who are able to watch, you are loved and supported. And we are so excited that, that we're gonna begin this journey together and just another school year won't, won't be long at all. So I thought I would end with um, our mission statement. Boys and girls, you can join me if you want to, but don't, no, no pressure. So this is what we say um, every day um, on our morning announcements, and it's the uh, mission of Lonsdale. Lonsdale is a safe place where we are all unique and valued. We are lifelong learners. We are responsible, respectful citizens and community leaders. We are a community school of excellence. So at this time, I think we'll go ahead and transition to the folks who are ready to start breaking, moving some ground. 